certainly going to talk about the heat, but something interesting happened in the Bay Area that has to do with the weather today. Imagine being able to accurately predict extreme weather months in advance. Today in San Francisco Bay, we caught a glimpse of that future, a boat pulling two high tech sail drones out to the Pacific. Only on five, we got an exclusive look at their launch and the big idea behind it. On the Alameda waterfront, a remarkable journey is about to set sail. Today is a very important day um, for us and for uh, oceanographic science in general. We were very excited. A fleet of two sailboats is ready to go. Their mission, a six month, 8,000 nautical mile round trip journey to the equator the birthplace of the weather phenomenon known as El Nino. Those start in the tropical Pacific, but it's a very remote location. It's difficult to monitor. The ultimate goal to help scientists better understand not only El Nino, but the world's changing climate. On board, not a single human being. These boats are sail drones, each one equipped with an amazing array of sensors, including wind measurement, you have temperature, humidity, uh, skin surface temperature, uh, you've got wave height and period, you've got CO2 exchange between the air and the water. Today's launch is a collaboration between NOAA and Sail Drone, a 26 person startup based in Alameda. For NOAA, Teaming up makes sense. Moving to a platform like this is, is a whole paradigm change of the opportunities and, and things that we can do that we hadn't really envisioned before. These drones are guided by GPS and controlled by remote rudder. They send back data in real time, use wind and solar power, and are built to last. They're designed to survive storms, to survive icy conditions, uh, to survive you know, long periods at sea, which has never been done before. Last year, NOAA and Sail Drone deployed several drones into the Arctic Ocean and the Bering Sea. A camera on board caught a young seal hitchhiking a ride. Goes to show the most exciting drones may not be in the sky, but in the ocean.